Hello, welcome to my first Dimedla video. Here I am going to share with you the colonial morphologies of some common urinary tract infections in pictures. So let's get started. Every hospital has their own protocol on the media being used to isolate UTIs. In this lab, the plates that are used for the UTI specimen process are 5% sheep blood agar which is a differential medium where it visualizes the colonial morphology of different isolates according to color, size, texture, and type of hemolysis. Cled agar, which stands for cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar, which is a differential medium that allows all the urinary isolates to grow. In the agar, there is cysteine, which helps increase the growth of cysteine-dependent isolates, lactose, which helps differentiate between lactose and non-lactose fermenters, and electrolyte deficiency in the agar, which helps inhibit proteus species. McConkie agar with crystal violet, which is a selective medium used to grow gram-negative bacilli, as it contains bile salts and crystal violet to inhibit most gram-positive bacteria. And Brilliance UTI Clarity Medium, which is a differential and non-selective medium that helps differentiate the colonial morphology of the common UTIs that can be encountered. In addition, this medium has chromogenic substrates that can enhance the growth of cauliflower. Pseudomonas aeruginosa, one of the most common UTIs, is usually caused by longer use of catheters inserted to the body and longer hospital stay and can be found in both lower and upper urinary tract infection. This is just a quick overview picture of how Pseudomonas aeruginosa looks like colonial morphologically. So Pseudomonas aeruginosa on the 5% sheep blood agar and is incubated at 35 degrees Celsius in aerobic environment. So, Pseudomonas aeruginosa is usually medium to large in colony size, irregular, grayish colored, and has a metallic sheen on top of the colonies, which is caused by this enzyme called pyocyanin. So, it's just this greenish blue insoluble product um, that is produced from Pseudomonas aeruginosa. On clad medium, incubated at 35 degrees Celsius uh, in aerobic environment. So as you can see here, Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a non-lactose fermenter and it appears as a medium, large, gray, irregular, semi-translucent matte colonies. Okay, so McConkie agar um, incubated at 35 degrees Celsius in aerobic environment. And as you can see here, Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a non-lactose fermenter. Lastly, the Brilliant UTI Clarity Medium incubated at 35 degrees Celsius in aerobic environments. And as you can see here, Pseudomonas aeruginosa appears as a medium large, tan gray, irregular shaped colonies. Just a quick info on Pseudomonas aeruginosa it is a strict aerobe, gram negative bacilli, oxidase positive, and spot endo negative. You would perform the final identification test to confirm the ID of the Pseudomonas aeruginosa, such as API20E or Vitec, and you would perform AEST generally on fluoroquinolones, cephalosporins, aminoglycosides, and carbapenems, as these antibiotics are commonly used to treat Pseudomonas aeruginosa infections. Alright, so this is the end of this video. If you have any requests, comments, or questions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching! Bye!